Hey, it's Pete, GCI Turf. Hope you're doing good. You remember last year I put my irrigation system in and I just let my natural areas just, uh, they went all to crap, right? Just didn't focus on them, didn't pay attention to them. Now, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I'm all about some pretty turf grass. We, we, we focus on it in our company. I focus on it here at my house. I just absolutely love this stuff. I eat, drink, and sleep it. But it's not all about the turf grass for me. What I mean by that is, look at my ugly beds. Oh my gosh, this is about to drive me bananas. I cannot stand it. So I've got to fix this. Of course, I've been patient since I yard was under construction last year and uh but I'm, i've got to prepare my beds now what i mean by that is when i when i do my routine maintenance and my routine uh mowing and edging and stuff i like my lines and what i mean by lines are my edges where grass meets mulch or pine needles or wood chips or rocks or whatever that's what i define an edge by and I like those edges clean, crisp, with lots of definition. I want a firm break between a solid, thick, dense stand of turf against my pine needles or against my bed. That creates definition in the yard, gives the yard character, shows off your curves, shows off your landscape even more. When all that kind of fades in together and blends in together, that makes for an appealing property when somebody's riding down the road and they say, snap, look at that place. That's what I like. So here's a good example of what I mean. You can see there's no real good clear definition between these two areas. So I need to create one. I'm gonna show you how I go from this to this. What I need to do is get my equipment ready. And in this case, I've got a blower for cleanup got my string trimmer with I don't even know what that thing is I saw it on the internet and I bought it um, it's some type of guard thingamajig so I put it on there over the winter I'm gonna try it see how I like it but I need my trimmer uh, camera stand I need my uh, that's an echo redefiner that's the mechanical device I'm talking about now let me stop you for a minute I know you're thinking well I don't have one of those that's fine if you don't. I've got a shovel over there. I'll show you how to do the exact same thing with a good square point shovel. Now there's two ways you can do this. This is a redefiner. It's actually intended for and meant to redefine the edges. And I know you've seen those big uh, machines that you kind of drag around the yard that cuts that real pretty V notch. Uh, along the grass and all well, this is kind of a miniature version of that of course I didn't want to go rent one and pay 90 bucks for it or whatever and we use this in our business quite a bit when we're doing mulch and needles so I just figured it'd be fitting I use it today okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my trimmer and I'm gonna hold it left hand on the grip I use my my uh, pinky to control the throttle I'll use my right hand and grab the shaft and I'll hold it almost straight up and down. Now you can see I've got the head straight up and down. I'm not too far this way. Or I'm not too far this way. Ah, if you're anything like me, you want those lines straight up and down. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pretend I'm a carpenter. And if you've ever seen a carpenter, what he'll do is he'll take a measurement on a piece of wood and he'll mark out some lines and use a chalk line and, and, and show himself where he needs to make that cut. So that's all I'm doing here is I'm creating me a chalk line sort of in a way so that I know where to put my redefiner out and, and cut that edge in. Now, if you have the option to use the redefiner, that's great. If your ground is super duper rock hard, I can go ahead and tell you this redefiner isn't gonna do the job. 
it's made for a looser type dirt, maybe like a topsoil type dirt, or uh, if the ground's super wet, it's not gonna work. You almost, the soil has to be just right uh, in order for this thing to work. Now there's two ways to do this last step. You can simply take your shovel and kind of drag the excess dirt back up in the bed like so. Kind of even it out. Of course, you know we're putting pine needles down, so we're going to kind of cover all this excess dirt up, so that's not a big deal. But of course, if you've got larger beds like I have, that'll take all stinking days. So I'm going to use my blower and I'm going to gently blow that little bit of dirt that's left in there, I'm going to blow it out. Okay, so just in case you don't have access to a steel redefiner or a mechanical bed edging device, you can easily do it with a shovel. Now, of course, you got to put a little butt in this, and it takes a little extra hard work, but it can be done. And what I do is I'll take the flat shovel, and I'll go straight up and down like so. And I'll just kind of go down in the ground as deep as you want the ditch. Give it a little jiggle. Move over. Do the same. And just on and on and on, just like that, going all the way around the beds. Now, I'm not done once I do that. I'll come back on this side and create my angle down like so, like so, just like that. And all you have to do is take your shovel, rake your excess back like that. And you can get this as neat and as clean as you prefer it, just like so. Look at there. Take my excess dirt and just kind of fan it out, lose it in the bed because I'm going to cover it up anyway with needles. There you so go. The next step, I go back and touch it up with the weed eater a little bit. And look at there. There's your nice, tight, clean edge all the way down. Of course, we'll do a whole video on throwing pine needles and how I like to do it. But when we throw those needles, we'll throw a little bit out here in the grass and we'll kind of rake them back a little bit and let them fall down in this groove. And then I've got a straight edge tool that we use to tamp down in this groove like that. That way your needle comes down in here and just kind of sets down in that groove real pretty. And that's what creates that distinct difference or that distinct border. Well, I know you're asking, what about those weeds, Mr. Pete? What are we going to do about those? Well, uh, I got a video coming about that, and I'm going to show you three different ways that I manage weeds in my landscape areas. Hey, if you like this kind of stuff, be sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, you, when I see that little subscription bell go off, that's what kind of drives me to keep doing this kind of thing, because I know... Um, in some way or another, I may be making a difference in your yard, and I'm, I take a lot of pride in that. So, hey, get this. We did hit that 2,500 subscriber mark, and, man, I am tickled silly about that. So I've got a 50-pound bag of my turf-type tall fescue along with a gallon of RGS, and I'm going to do that drawing here in just the next few days or so, and uh, I'll get in contact with the winner, and we'll, show, we'll do a video showing who wins it. Started something new. We've got a little Facebook page going on. It's get your, one word, space, dirt right. One word. Get your dirt right. Look us up. Be sure to friend request and I'll hook you up on that. Now this is for the GCI Turf Academy members. If you have paid that $49 and you're, you had access and you're in the membership website, 
and you're experiencing this fertilizer we have and, and some of the other things we got going on in there, the sprayer nozzle assembly, uh, which we're getting ready to turn that loose uh, and make that available to everybody. But if, if you are a current member, I want you to check your email because I sent you a, a request to join the GCI Turf Academy private Facebook group. It's a closed Facebook group that only the GCI Academy members can get in and see. Now, folks are posting pictures of, oh my gosh, they're gorgeous yards. You wouldn't believe what the RGS, along with the Academy Fertilizer, are doing to these yards. They are absolutely gorgeous. So inside that Academy or inside that private group, what I'm doing is I'm answering some more detailed questions about herbicides and weed controls and disease control and things like that where we can really dial in with our members and really get focused on having that great yard. Say, so if you wanna know more about this academy thing we got going on, go to www.getyourdirtright.com and check us out. And you know what, at the end of the day, you gotta get your dirt right.